Alright, so if you've been paying attention in my recent videos, you'll know that there's been a 3D printer hanging about, which means that I've been able to print a 3D printed speaker box, and we'll talk more about that later. If you're interested in the printer that I used for this build video, it is the CR10 by Creality, and I got this sent to me by Gearbest, so I will chuck the link to that in the video description. It is a great printer for the price, and it prints with a very, very large surface area. It can print 300mm by 300mm by 400mm tall, which can mean it can print huge speakers, even bigger than the one I've printed here today. But we're going to be focusing on this one right here, as well as that, the link to the file, the cube file, the STL file, whatever it is, will be in the video description down below for you to go and check out. If you do decide to buy a CR10, you can print it yourself and of course as well, I'll link in the video description. All of the other parts that I use in this video, what I'm going to need is some screws to screw the side plate in. I'm also going to use some super glue so I can get an airtight seal. I also have a high vi driver here that was sent to me by Parts Express. Now these little drivers are very, very nice. If you have a look at it, very, very solid components on the back here. Very, very high quality little speaker and I'm looking forward to using that in this video. And some speaker wire super glue, already named that all. So what we're going to do now is put this all together and then once we've done that we're going to hear how the thing sounds once the super glue dries and makes it a nice and airtight so if you're interested in that make sure you chuck a like on the video before you watch it subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and uh yeah let's uh build this speaker and see how it sounds all right so i've now test fitted some wire inside of the box and figured out the ideal length that i need so i'm going to chop the wire all nicely there and now we're going to separate it and put those little connectors on the ends of it. All right, so as we can see now, I've run some wire through, crimped on some connectors onto the end, got ample wire out the back there. So what I'm gonna do now is put the panel on the side here. This didn't print too pretty as we can see here, but I'm not too fussed with that. It's just my slicer settings didn't make it look as appealing as it could. So I'm gonna super glue this on. I'm also gonna screw it and I might even grab some clamps just to make sure that there is a great seal all the way around. Then once that's dry, we'll install driver and we'll wire it up and we'll hear how it sounds. I'm going to put plenty of sound demos at the end of the video so you guys can get a rough estimate of how this sounds. Alright, so the top of the box is now glued on. I'm just going to add some extra screws to the top to clamp it down even harder and then we'll wait for this to dry. All right, and as we can now see, the panel on the side is now screwed down. And I just thought I'd take you over to the printer itself so you can see how big the printer actually is and how large an item you could actually print on this printer. As you can see, I was not pushing it at all with the size of this speaker box. So again, it's linked in the video description. Go check them out. Very, very good printers, but I'm now gonna give it some time to dry and then we'll put the woofer in, we'll play some test tones through it and music and whatnot and we'll see how great this thing sounds. All right, so it's now been 24 hours and the speaker box has fully cured. What I'm gonna do now is install this little rubber gasket around the box, which will give it airtight seal when the woofer is mounted into the enclosure. And it's very, very surprising how well these screws actually screw into the PLA material that I am using. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick that on there wire the speaker up and then we're going to plug it into an amplifier and let's hear how this thing sounds. Alright, so there we are. There is the build. It is finally done. Well, if you want to call this a build, Anyway, there's the 3D printed speaker box with the speaker inside and a note to anyone else who decides to take on this project, make sure you install the speaker first before you put the extra side on because it is extremely hard to get wire inside to the back of that speaker there because the hole is so perfectly cut for or so perfectly round for the speaker to fit in. It's very, very hard to fit wires in. But anyway, I've now got the speaker hooked up to my trusty SMSL SA36A Pro on a 15 volt, eight amp power supply. And I'm gonna be playing music directly off my S7 Edge here with no EQ whatsoever. So you can get a rough estimate as to what this thing sounds like and I'll push it for some excursion. So that's gonna be it for this video. Let's hear how this thing sounds. All 
Alright, so as we can hear, this isn't the best sounding speaker, so what I'm going to opt for instead is just some close-up excursion of this Hi-Fi driver, just to show you what it's fully capable of, because it's actually quite surprising. Alright, so now I'm just going to run some frequencies through the speaker. As we can see, it's playing one hertz right now. I'm going to turn the amp down a little bit and play through some frequencies, and then we're going to find some sort of resonance inside of the speaker. Man, one hertz just looks so funny to watch. So, we're going to turn this thing down, and then we'll play some different sort of tones through it. Let's start by just uh, increasing it very, very slightly. There's two hertz. As we can see, we're just pushing the limits of the woofer there. 3 hertz, very, very close to its peak excursion. We're just sort of maxing it out. That looks very, very nice to watch. I can imagine that in slow motion would look very, very nice. We aren't getting... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We aren't getting any sort of noise uh, out of the speaker or the box right now, which is always good. If I increase it up to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we can see the speaker is working very, very hard, but there is no mechanical noise whatsoever. So these high vibe drivers are very solid. It's not until 18 hertz there I can hear some sort of noise. You can feel some air coming out of the port, but the port might actually be a little too big for the speaker. Start stepping it up towards 22 hertz. I'm sure you can hear that now on the microphone as well. That's 24 hertz there. We start bringing it up a bit. We can see we are moving the speaker very, very hard and fast. This is about 35 hertz here, and it just sounds like speaker distortion. As we bring it up here around the 40 hertz, we actually get audible tone. Uh, I can imagine this inside of a cupboard somewhere would sound really, really nice. Start bringing it up again, the bass is still audible. Uh, once we reach about the 45 to 50 hertz range, um, that's where you can actually hear the speaker is actually starting to produce frequencies that it can produce, if that makes any sense. Now we start bringing it up. Here at that 75, there's no sort of resonant inside of the box. Uh, 100 hertz again, no sort of resonance inside. Whoa, once we hit about that 120 hertz, there's a real bad resonance inside. Wow, okay, 180 hertz is absolutely ridiculous. As we bring it up, and it sort of drops off about that 280. So, the box has some very, very funny characteristics as far as uh, what sort of frequencies it likes to resonate quite a lot. But uh, that really is it for the sound demo portion of this video. Man, just look at that thing go. All right, so there it is, the sound demo of this speaker. And as you can hear, for the price and what it is, a 3D printed speaker box, this thing doesn't sound too bad. However, it is definitely not the best sounding speaker out there, but for a budget three inch woofer and a 3D printed box, I think it is a pretty cool project nonetheless. So. If you have enjoyed this video, let me know with a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already for some reason. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video and I really do hope you enjoyed this one.